Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial on how to use MIRAC as an effect processor. Um, I just um, launched AUM, so let's click on the plus sign and create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. Let's click on the plus for the MIDI channel and as an audio unit, audio unit MIDI processor, let's select step pad AUV3. Let's click on the plus sign for the audio channel and let's scroll down, let's click on the search bar and let's choose Sun Riser. Let's can go inside Sun Riser, expand a little bit the window, click here to select the preset, scroll down to the default and select the pad uh, bank and then select number 13, Big Synth String. Let's um, close that window, let's click here to connect Simbad, Stabad, uh, to some riser. Here we go, let's click play. Let's go inside step pad, let's select a scale which is minor because I prefer it like so. Let's go to gate and let's put that to one so the duration of the note is for the entire bit. Let's click rate and let's move that to Alf and let's click on note and let's randomize a button. Let's uh, exit that and let's click play again. Okay, let's click on the plus sign here to add an effect. Let's click and scroll down. Let's click on the search bar and let's type MI to search for MI Rock. If you click play now, nothing will happen. Let's click on MI Rock and let's uh, select, for example, your preferred folder. In this case, some for more MI Rock patches. Let's create a patch. Here we are inside the patch, we have an audio out, left and right channel as default. At the moment the patch is playing as AUM is playing. If you click here in this icon, you go back to AUM, like so. If you, go, if you want to go back to MI Rack, you click on MI Rack again. So let's um, uh, do the first uh, simplest thing first as a patch. So let's click on the plus uh, sign there, select MIDI and audio. Let's click on audio in and let's click on add patch. This is the module which or plugin which lets you get the audio from uh, IAA. So let's connect the left and right channel from the input directly to the audio output and you will start to hear the sound. I stop uh, uh, clicking on the pause icon the plane of the patch and now let's design something more interesting in MI rack. So let's disconnect the left and right channel like so, click and drag outside. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's click on the tags. First thing I want to do, as it might come handy later on, I want to introduce a mixer. So let's select on the mixer and then select the mix eight and let's click on the add to patch. Let's drag Click and drag again to gain a little bit more space. Click drag again. Let's connect the left and right input to the first channel and second channel of the mixer. And for again, to test that everything is working, let's connect the output of the mixer to the audio output. So left, left and right, right, you will start to hear the sound if everything is okay when I click play. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's click on the plus sign and let's go to a attenuator. So let's click on VCA. Let's click auto patch. The reason I wanted to do the, uh, I selected this uh, plugin is because I would like to start creating like almost like a pulsation effect on the audio that is coming in from uh, a UM. So let's take the um, output here left and right connected to this output like so so what i've done is the output of these two channels are going directly to the audio output now let's connect the left and right 
output from the mixer to the input channel of the VCA. If I click play, everything is working perfectly. Next, I want to add an LFO which will start which will act on the control voltage for both channels here. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's uh, select an LFO here. Uh, let's bring in a standard LFO for now at the batch. So here we are. Let's connect the sine wave to the control voltage there, and the same to the other control voltage for the for the uh, two channels. Let's click play. As you can hear, the volume is quite lower. Let's click on to have a um, a linear. If you double click actually on the menu, it will tell you here that in linear mode, and the lean button, the knobs will be response in linear in amplitude. Otherwise, the default response is linear in decibel. So let's ensure that that is linear mode. So let's click in here when it plays. Better. So the volume is now higher. Um, and now I'm going to show you that modifying the frequency here, the LFO, the pulsator will modify accordingly. Of course, you can decide to use a different uh, uh, wave. A shape instead of a sine wave you can use a square let's try and you can adjust also the pulse width um, exercising on this dial let's try I actually prefer uh, the sound wave. So this is a simple way and how you can create uh, uh, pulsating effects uh, the, taking directly the audio uh, from AUM which is coming from some riser and then really um, uh, applying a VCA and controlling uh, the voltage for each channel with an LFO. Uh, as you can see it's very straightforward to actually design a patch inside um, inside the AUM. So what I want to show you now is um, uh, something different. So let's um, double click on each one of them and let's delete them. Let's leave the uh, mixer 8 for now. Let's go back inside uh, AUM. So let's um, stop this from playing. Uh, let's click and move to the left and let's uh, quit some riser. Let's click on the plus sign again and let's choose a different audio unique extension. For example, ISM. Again, let's connect ISM to step pad, like so. And uh, let's go inside my rack for now. Let's connect the left and uh, right channel so we can, we can hear sound coming from uh, AUM. Let's click play. Okay, let's go inside the um, um, ISIM. Let's click on the load uh, to load the patches. Let's click on lead, for example, and let's select uh, electric pulse. And let's try again. Not sure, let's change uh, the patch to uh, perhaps uh, uh, something else. Uh, for example, let's go to keyboard maybe. Pulse Echo. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's good. Let's click play and go back inside of my rack. Okay, let's stop again 
the plane of the patch. So what I want to show you now is manipulation, further manipulation of the audio as it coming in into my rack. So let's click on the plus sign and show that you are on the tags. So let's click on uh, effect and let's bring in uh, this one, the uh, booty shift uh, frequency shifter. So let's click R to patch and uh, here we are. So I'll move it down here for simplicity. So what I want, want to do now is to take this um, disconnect uh, the audio input going directly into the mixer. So let's click take that first left audio input and let's connect it to the input of the booty shifter and then and then let's take the up output directly into the first channel of the mixer and let's click play let's do this let's double click now on the uh, booty shifter and let's go to manage and let's duplicate this and let's take the right channel to go into the input and now let's take the down output directly to the second channel perfect now let's double click again on the booty shifter let's click on manage then duplicate um, let's connect the input directly to the left input from uh, AUM. Let's take the up output again onto the input uh, on channel 3 of the mixer. This time, now let's change the range to something like 50 and uh, let's click play and adjust the dial here and you should uh, surely hear the, uh, the shift in frequency. Okay, I changed the range to 500 Hz. It's more significant as a change. Let's double click on this plugin, manage and duplicate again. And let's connect the input to the right input coming from AUM. And then let's take the down output to channel 4 of the mixer. So the previous one took the up, and the second one took the down. And let's hear it. Okay, now let's adjust a little bit of volume here, a little bit lower for both channels. Let's click play again. Okay, let's do the same thing again uh, for the next two channels. So let's double click on these uh, uh, plugin, manage, duplicate, and then input to the left, the up output to the next channel. And let's click play and modify uh, the frequency here. <laughs> Perfect. Let's double click on this one. Manage duplicate input directly to connect the, to the right input from AUM and then the output down to the next channel in the mixer. And let's click play. Then let's adjust uh, the volume as it's playing.
So as you can see, this was a very easy way to use MIRAC as an effect processor. In this case, we designed a different patch where effectively we multiplied uh, the number of voices in terms of, of the audio which was coming from AUM before it was processed to go directly to the back inside AUM from the, through the audio output. And of course, you can further design these, you can add other effects, so you can decide, uh, for example, let's add an, an additional reverb. So you click on the plus sign, uh, you go on the reverb, let's select a num verb, let's click add to patch. Here it is, instead of going um, from the mixer output directly to the audio output, we go to the input left and right of the reverb and then we connect the output left and right from the reverb to the left and right of the audio output like so As you can see, uh, the possibility is infinity because you can create whatever you like inside Emma Rack and for uh, uh, make uh, Emma Rack run as your uh, dedicated uh, effect processor. I hope you like uh, the tutorial and see you next time. Bye.